a day in the life of a Cheyenne child. Cold weather was on its way to the plains, and White Flower's people, the Cheyenne, were busy setting up their winter camp. Building the teepees was the women's work. White Flower watched as her mother and two other women put up a teepee. Though the buffalo hides they used to cover the teepee poles were heavy, the women were able to finish the job in about half an hour. Because they would stay in this camp for a while, White Flower and her mother would spend more time than usual fixing up the inside of their home. The floor would be covered with raised mats, and benches made of thick matted buffalo robes would provide warmth against the bitter cold to come. A type of cover would be fashioned out of the buffalo hide. So much of their life depended on the buffalo. White Flower didn't know what her family would do if the buffalo ever disappeared forever, and not just for the few winter months. White Flower helped her mother store the extra clothing that they had brought to their winter camp. She and her mother owned several full-length, sleeveless, animal skin dresses that hung below the knee. For winter, they would add leggings and buffalo skin robes. For the men and boys, they had made many breech cloths, square skins that tied around the waist with a cord. On special occasions, the men would wear long-sleeved shirts and fringed leggings. Everyone wore moccasins that were made into two pieces with raw, hard rawhide soles. And ever since traders had introduced them to colored beads, the women were kept busy sewing rows of beads on almost everything they owned, from pelts to moccasins. After their house was put in order, White Flower went outside with her mother to gather food, not an easy task. They collected fruit from the prickly pear cactus, pulling clumps of fruit off the plant. Then they brushed away the spines of the cactus with brooms made of twigs. Protecting their fingers with deerskin thimbles, they carefully picked the fruit clean. Finally, they removed the seeds and dried the fruit in the sun. Tonight, they would add the pears to the buffalo soup they planned to make. Like all Cheyenne children, White Flower loved to play and spent a good part of the afternoon doing just that. One of her favorite toys was a little deerskin doll that she took with her everywhere. Her brother's favorite toy was a miniature bow and arrow set. At her age, White Flower was still young enough to play with boys. As boys and girls got older, though, they were kept apart so that the tribe could begin preparing them for their different adult roles. Today, White Flower and other children were playing camp. They used little teepees made by their mothers and had their dogs drag the materials for the teepees a short distance from their real homes. When they decided on a good place to set up camp, the children started to pretend. The girls were the mothers, the boys the fathers, their dogs were the horses, and their baby brothers and sisters were their children. Today, at play camp, one of the boys actually caught a fish in a nearby stream, and the girls prepared to cook it, and cooked it. They all felt so grown up.